What's up, world? This is Mr. Sam, 44 Man. I started at the beginning of what I'm going to call Detroit Raw. What you see behind me is Jamison Elementary School. Jamison used to be a school for the entire neighborhood around here. Jamison is no longer a school. And also in my film today, you will see a lot of other schools, which is two so far today, numerous apartment buildings, numerous homes, and I walked straight in them, showed you it, went to neighbors and citizens of this city, and I tried to get their viewpoints. See, I don't just do the hoes and the thugs and the fools and the clowns. I do Detroit citizens in the city of Detroit. I was born in the city of Detroit, February 16, 1966. I'm 46 years old. So a lot of my audience out there, I may be a lot older than you, or I might be a lot younger than you. But for those old enough to know about civil rights, those of us old enough to know about the Olympics, which we was out there standing fist in hand, for all those that watched the Olympics, and shout out to Gabby for the all around in the women's gymnastics, a black sister doing her thing, but come out of here, but doing something. Had to leave her own environment because the training in which she had to obtain, she had to go further away from her own home. She spoke how she cried of being away from her family. America, since slavery, nothing has changed. The only thing that has changed is the hoods are now suits. The laws are now bent. And black people are at the forefront. You show nothing of a black man but him sitting on a curb, jumping in a bait car, or running on your evening news with his pants half off his ass. Brothers, we need to clean that up. You see what that says? Jamison Elementary School. We love them and lead them. Look at Jameson. Is that love? Ask yourself, is that love? Is that love, y'all? That's a school that would never open again. And I ask you, is that love? To me, it's not. To me, it just says a bunch of words which reflects no meaning. I may have been a little bit upset earlier today due to the fact of I just want people to account for what they have. See, after the riots in Detroit, a lot of people left Detroit due to the fact that the fear of the violence that were going on here. I may have been a little tight, but I still remember tanks rolling down the street and I still remember firemen hosing people down. As a matter of fact, as a child, I was hosed with my mother. I was not allowed to sit at a Kresge counter and eat lunch. Now, we just take advantage of anything and everything. You couldn't date a white woman without being killed or harassed. Black people stood up for themselves and they wanted something. Now, all we do is we sit here Type on Facebook how you want to crack somebody's fucking head because they said something. Freedom of speech gives you the right to say any goddamn thing you want to say. Nobody gives you the right to say what you want to say. Or can't tell you the right to, what, to say what you want to say. People need to stay in their lane and keep it real. This is a racist country with still racist practices. Every commercial is not for us. Every TV show is not for us. If it wasn't for Tyler Perry, Flip Wilson, Fred Fox, Richard Pryor, and some of these older people, it was more of them 
Sydney Portiers than it is now. Ask yourself, why is it not more black representation on the mainstream media? I don't care about you. I flip you on, I flip you off. This here, you can do whatever you want to shut me down, but I'ma still go underground, I'ma still find a way. Don't get upset because somebody tells you from the point of view in which you despise. You despise this color. You despise this man. But I'm here to show you, the game has changed. And there's a new sheriff in town. And I don't care if my number is 193, 172. I'm going to keep watching on everything you do in the media. And I'm going to keep track of all these lies you letting the citizens know. And I'm going to keep it real right out here in the streets. My name is Sanford Miles, a.k.a. Sandman, a.k.a. on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Mr. Sand 44 Man. I hope you keep watching. Because I see all my fans everywhere in this continent, on this planet, everybody overseas. Japan, Thailand, England, Russia, Canada, Somalia, Slovakia, Italy, all of y'all people out there. I even got a couple of people over there in, 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 in Iraq and Iran just sitting there watching it. Egypt. I must be saying something. America, you need to change your stripes. You're foul, and I'm here to let you know you're foul to the brother. You don't want to talk with us. We'll never have a formal table meeting because you will never bring yourself down here. This is the scary part of the world for you. Just like I walk in those abandoned houses and buildings, I can continue to do it. I don't walk up on nothing like a dead body, a little girl getting raped, somebody up in there uh, 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 doing something like living or squatting. But somebody got to take a stand. Everybody out there so committed to their job, I'm going to lose my job. Fake ass reporters. My producer says I can't say that. You know, it's sad. It's sad. Did you check out Lester Holt? Dayline NBC? When he had that special on? I put it out there for you. If you didn't see it, oh well, you missed it. But America, you don't put those kind of programs on for us. Black History Month. You don't cater to Black History Month. Let's keep it real, people. Christmas is being told now. Get ready for Christmas. Get ready for Black History Month, y'all. It'll be here in February. And then we're going to ask ourselves how many black channels or how many channels are going to put us up front? 247, 2062, 50. Y'all going to have just nothing but black entertainment that day or that month? <laughs> Hell no, you ain't. Because you know why NBC? You know why ABC? You know why CBS? You know why? Because we would shut you down. Your own people would shut you down. What is this? Programming every day of black history. I don't give a fuck about no nigga. Hey. And for those of y'all that are offended by that word, let me tell you one thing. Anybody got a great, great, great grandparent or anybody real, 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 real old in your family, you sit down with them and you take a little time to say this. Had anybody ever called you a nigga? Had anybody ever denied you the drink at a water fountain as a white person? Has anybody denied you freedom and civil rights? Hell, we can't even vote. We can, but it's a hall pass. 
Bush made sure of that. Thanks, Bush. Knocked it up 50 more years. Fuck them niggers. That's why Obama in the house. I wish it was, I wish he could stay in 50 years to change that. But black people, we don't have no voting rights. We got a hall pass. You understand? We have a hall pass. Folks around there like we, we make a difference. We got a hall pass. They using us. Now don't get me wrong. That's no signification of everybody stop voting. Do what you do because a lot of our people died for that. And I honor it. The only little piece of civilian shit that I have of being an ex-con. And to all my ex-cons out there. Coming home from the pen. I understand, man. I understand. It's, it's rough. It's going to get even rougher out here. But you know what? If you keep your head up and you do you. And don't let the interferences of this get in your way. Don't get discouraged. Be positive and keep it up. Man, you're going to make it. Stop making an impression for other races and cultures to continuously not take us seriously. It's time to wake up, gentlemen, and stand at attention and be soldiers. Be soldiers. It's one thing to talk about being a soldier, but it's another part being one. This is Sam, man, y'all. Hit me up once again, Mr. Sam 44 Man. On YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And also Social Cam and Google Plus. And, uh, oh, we ain't even got started yet. This is the first day of class. And it's going on quarter to two. So we're going to call it a first day, easy day. I just show you about 10. 20 maybe more abandoned houses for day one check with me tomorrow we have some more too it's the same man i'll let you know when i got it edited video and ready to go check me out y'all i love y'all everybody out there in ohio all my people that love me down there in cincinnati all my people that love me out there in indiana kentucky all my people in florida hey what's up shauna baby what's up my doll my cousins, I mean my nieces and my nephews down there, Gary, Michael, what's happening to my stepson down there, Tony, and Kevin, I mean Kenneth, Kenneth, my nephew Kenneth, and my man Lee. Even though we don't see each other much, man, it's still, we still 100. All my people out there in the South, all my cousins down there, all my people, I love y'all. Continue to support your boy. I see y'all. I'm doing my analytics. I'm looking and seeing my graphs and my cheats. I'm looking at my spots. I'm looking. I'm going up, y'all. And I'm blowing up. And this here is going to make some changes. And if it don't, I'm a damn sure make sure it do. It's just Sandman, y'all. Sandman is out. Peace. Check y'all out later on tonight.